bench, we have a Pace Side Talk 1000M. I uh, don't know if this looks familiar to you guys, but um, for all you guys who are around, including myself, uh, for Smokey and the Bandit 2, um, you'll recognize this as Snowman's uh, CB radio on his uh, inside the cab of his truck uh, on top of the dashboard. Yeah, that's what he had, a Side Talk 1000M. And uh, I can't believe the prices that some of these people are selling these CB radios on eBay and, you know, wherever. I mean, that CB-166 from Smokey and the Bandit, uh, the, the first one, that pays CB-166. I mean, I, I've seen it as high as 1300 bucks. And you're just talking about a regular 23-channel radio, you know. Uh, I think people who have them know that these people making tribute cars, um, you know, probably want them. So they jack up these prices extremely high. I mean... When you compare radio for radio, that 23-channel radio, it's it's probably, on a good day, maybe worth 80 bucks, you know, uh, 70 bucks. But, uh, I don't know, I, I can't justify spending, uh, you know, 1300 bucks in some cases, for that uh, CB-166. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, these here are going for... Uh, I think a little bit over what they should be, simply because of the uh, Smokey and the Bandit fame that these Pace radios uh, brought with them. Um, but, you know, on the other hand, it is a nice looking radio. Um, I like uh, the look of it. It's, um, um, I guess you could say different um, in terms of, uh, for its, I guess, ahead of its time. Um, you know, so you have the, um, the different modes here. You have green for AM. Uh, upper sideband is an orange, lower sideband is a white, and uh, the RX-TX uh, switch, and uh, it has a pretty good meter too, uh, you know, readable, uh, some of them are unreadable, this one is uh, pretty damn good. And uh, so we have a clarifier with the detent. Uh, which lets you uh, put it right to the middle. RF gain, squelch on the back, and uh, on and um, volume on uh, that knob there. 23 channel, um, sideband obviously. Comes with a PA switch, which nobody really uses, and uh, a noise blanker switch, which it's probably one of the best noise blanker switches I've ever heard so gets rid of that hash and that um, all those that uh, those spikes uh, noise spikes hopefully you guys can hear that but man what an awesome radio this is and um, yeah so let's uh, let's see how she's doing for power rather than me yelling into this uh, you know mic audio audio oh yeah it's the original mic and this thing's got some weight to it um, so it's pretty cool radio Let's uh let's get a tone through it, see what she's doing on the MFJ meter. Alright, hitting just about 15. I'd say that's hundred percent modulated. Yeah, so it's looking good. And uh, let me shut this off. Let me uh, see, put this on the spectrum analyzer as well. Because I never do that. I always forget to show you guys what it looks like on the spectrum analyzer here. Let's get this to the... Should be close enough. Eh. I wouldn't say that that's that's great considering this thing is has 30 dB of uh, attenuation. Yeah. Could be better. Yeah, that's uh you got some spikes there. Let's go over to 
54. It's close enough. Okay. Something to be desired. But, uh, yeah, all in all, it's, uh, it seems to be on power. Uh, let's see how she's doing. See if she's on frequency. Put your uh, shut this off for a sec. All right, let's see. Channel 19. Yeah, I'd say that's on. Spot on. Yeah, 27185. 495. All right. Let's uh, see what um, she's doing for receive. Hold on, let me get this set up. All right, channel 19, she's on receive. We have minus 101. He's got 12 dB sent on. So 101, eh, it's not great. Um, but concerning the age of the radio, I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm probably gonna look in here. I haven't opened this up yet since I've had it. Um, but we're probably gonna see some, uh, that it's gonna need you know, to be recapped. Um, let's get her open. All right, nothing too crazy with this uh, particular uh, radio. So you have your uh, crystals, uh, your trimmer uh, caps here, trimmer capacitors for all your crystal frequencies. Um, you know, your adjustment cans, crystal filter. Uh, this radio looks like an audio IC. Uh, all original caps, seems to me. Uh, relay. But then, man, look at these transistors in the back here. They are mounted underneath uh, these aluminum uh, angles here, uh, heat sinks. Man, I hate to replace those. Look like a real pain in the ass to do. But, um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks like a radio of its uh, time. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. I know Pace sometimes did things differently. They kind of went to the beat of their own drum with their chassis and boards and, you know, whatnot. Um, but this one here is uh, there's nothing special. Um, yeah, you can see that it's uh, starting to peel some of the the ground plane here. You got all these air bubbles. Uh, that's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, starting to separate from the board. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, what you see is what you get with these. All right, let's do a quick on-air test. See, uh, see how she sounds on here. Yeah, guys, receive audio is not that great. Um, I'm sure with the recap and alignment, um, you know, we'll get this thing back sounding good. But um, yeah, that's the uh, Side Talk 1000M, made famous by Smokey and the Bandit 2. Thanks for watching, guys.